team brief this month comes from the Patient Relations Stroke Pals Department, which is in the main entrance at Wigan Infirmary. Now this is a department with some of the most patient and calm people you could wish to meet because they deal with the public when they're feeling angry and they want to make a complaint. Now at the end of team brief I'm going to be meeting Susan Highway who's been working here for 18 years and who manages the department. She'll be telling me about its work and as usual I'll have three quiz questions. First of all, how many official complaints a year do we receive? Secondly, which member of the department is also a qualified florist? And thirdly, which member of the department has a 10-year-old son who is a world champion at something called Muay Thai, which is similar to kickboxing? So now for the latest high-level measures of quality. And the most recent data we have on mortality is from December 2016. And for that month, the figure was 110, which takes our average for the year to that point to 112. Now, these are obviously higher mortality rates than we've been having for several years. And we believe that they reflect some of the pressures we've been experiencing through A&E with overcrowding and delays to, to diagnosis. Now, if we look at infection rates, the latest month, February, has been really good because we had no cases of MRSA, no cases of C. diff, no cases of MSSA, and three of E. coli. So a total of three for the month of February, which is excellent. Now onto the measures of serious harms, and that too has been another great month in February. I've already mentioned the three serious infections from February, but there were no other serious harms. So there were no never events, no pressure ulcers, no serious falls, no ventilator required pneumonia, and no central line infections. So the total for the month is just three. Now, another measure of quality that we've been looking at over the last few months is the VTE compliance, which had suffered with the move to the new HIS system, and we've got new arrangements in place. Now, if you look at this graph here, you can see that although we're not yet achieving the target, the red bars show that we've had three consecutive months in a row where we've been improving our performance and I'm hoping we'll be back up to the target very soon. So thank you and well done on that. I'm now going to show you the usual main measures of performance, starting with the A&E chart. And the pattern you can see here is the same as it's been for several months. None of the trusts in Greater Manchester are achieving the target, that's the blue line of 95%, but WWL is well ahead of all the other trusts in Greater Manchester and is performing consistently at the top of the pack. What we're showing on this chart for the first time is the, the orange line, which is the average for the whole of the NHS. And it's good to see, of course, that WWL is exceeding that average. If I now move, now move on to finances, February has been another good month. And compared to where we were in October, November last year, we're in a very healthy position now. We had a surplus in month of nearly £500,000, taking the cumulative surplus to £3,600,000. Our cash position is healthy, we've got a good use of resources rating, and the only negative really is that we're still behind plan for CIP. But the overall position is really healthy now. We're very confident that not only will we achieve our year-end surplus, but we will exceed it and thus attract some bonus monies as well. So that's a very good position for the Trust to be in going into next year. So after good news on quality and performance and finance, I'm sorry to say that one thing that's gone backwards is the monthly real-time patient survey. And you can see on this chart here, the latest figures for February have gone down in most cases. You can see more ambers and reds here. So we really want to try and get that picked back up when we see the March ratings. Now something really interesting that's happening is a complete relaunch of the Trust intranet system. You'll have been familiar with the existing one for many years, but it's time for a complete makeover. And there's going to be lots of engagement in this. There'll be road shows. You can find details of this in the trust brief or by contacting the staff engagement team on extension 2813. And as part of this project, one of the things that we want is a new name. So we're looking to you to come up with a suggestion for a name for the intranet. And here's the address to send any ideas and please come up with something that, uh, that we can use. Here I am now with Susan Highway. Susan has worked for the Trust for 18 years, all of that time in the complaints department, and now she's a manager. So, Susan, congratulations on doing this job for so long, which Thank must you. be very demanding. <laughs> Let me ask you, first of all, what are the main things that you do? Our main function is obviously we administrate the 
formal complaints procedure and to do that we link and liaise with our divisions and our staff members and also with MPs, CCGs, advocacy services etc just to get make sure that anything that's coordinated that needs to be done mm. properly. Um, but also a big part of our, de our department now is like the PALS work, the patient advice and liaison where we do link with our, our staff in order to get things done in real time which is really more helpful to people than going through the formal process. Okay and what are the main problems and pressures that you face in this department? The main problems and pressures I would say are you know not a lot in getting information immediately because we actually are quite good at getting that from our staff um, and I feel that that's something that's really good, the relationships we have to get that. Uh, the main pressures I would say is from the learning respect I would say because I think whilst we probably we do learn and we do make improvements we need to have some more robust evidence to say this is what we've done and that, that we can actually show that's a little bit more mm. sort of visible mm. you know mm. so that we can back things up more. And uh, in your department then, what are the things that you're most proud of? I'm very proud of the team, um, the way they have to deal with lots of difficulties. They're, they're very difficult people sometimes and when people are grieving or people are angry, it's something that they have to deal with. And the way that we support each other um, through this, because we always try to have a little bit of a debrief if there's been something significant. Um, the other thing I'm really proud of is that we attended the Recognising Excellence Awards last year's, um, uh, last November, uh, as someone outside the department nominated us for Unsung Hero. And I thought that was really nice of them to do that and to actually recognise that yeah. the girls do a very good job. Excellent. Well, well deserved as well. Now, I believe you've also got a personal story you want to tell me? Yes, I have. Um, a member of our team, Julie, she was diagnosed with bowel cancer at the end of 2015 and has made a full recovery from that, uh, thanks to one of our esteemed surgeons here at mm. WWL. Mm. And we're all very grateful to him for what he's done for her and she's especially grateful to him, right. of course. That's great news. Now, time for the three quiz questions. OK. So first of all, what's the number? How many official complaints do we get? On average, we've been getting about 365 over the last three years, and they had been coming down. But this year, 16-17, um, has been quite a challenging year from a complaints perspective. But it's been a challenging year, I feel, from a trust perspective, looking at the information that comes through. Yeah. And we've, we've gone up about 100. Right, so that's interesting. And I must say that I've seen that reflected in the numbers coming across my desk, and perhaps yeah. people kept waiting quite a lot is one of the themes yeah. that I see quite yeah. a lot. Okay, now the second quiz question is, which member of your staff is a qualified florist? Well, that would be me. <laughs> Explain how. Uh, I just I felt I needed to do something like a little bit uh, extracurricular. Mm -hmm. and, so uh, it soothes you, does it, after work to arrange <laughs> flowers? It, does, it is actually very therapeutic. So I, I, took, I did four years at college at night mm -hmm. to do that. And now my husband and I have an allotment as well. Fantastic. And the final quiz question is, you've got a member of staff here who's got a 10-year-old son who is a world champion at something called Muay Thai, which is a form of kickboxing. Now, who is that? That's Anne-Marie and her young son Declan mm -hmm. is the world champion, which he did in the school holidays when over in Italy uh, last October. Mm -hmm. So she's very proud of him and we're very proud of him as well. Mm -hmm.